Hey, here, Amy on KChat. Our next guest is a man on a mission, and that's why he's got such a silly name. His mission is simple: zoos. His name is Mr. Zoo. G'day, I'm. Hi, Mr. Zoo. Hi, the name's Pat. Pat Flannerty. But I love zoos, I really do. That's why they also call me Mr. Zoo. Okay, and which do you prefer? Ah,、uh, what, darling? Which name, Mr. Zoo or Pat Flinger thingy? Oh, I don't mind, babe. Whatever you fancy, fine by me. As long as we talk about animals, I don't give a damn what you call me. As long as it ain't Sheila or something. <laughs> You're silly, Mr. Zoo. Why would I call you Sheila? I, I don't know, love. You tell me. Oh, I, this is getting confusing. It says here your name is Mr. Zoo, and now you're saying your name is Pat Flanagan, and now you're saying it's Sheila. Eh, doll, the name ain't Sheila. That's a Sheila's name. It's an Australian joke. Okay. All、oh, right. <laughs> I don't speak Australian. Do I? I guess not, sweetheart. Okay. Well, moving on. You're Mr. Zoo. That I am. Cool. And I hear you've made quite a name for yourself. Why is that? Because I love animals, Aim. Animals and publicity and stuff. But I love animals.、Oh, I love them. Me too. That's the thing, babe. We all love animals, but we don't know too much about them. That's what I'm here to tell you about. That and myself, of course. Of course. So right. What about animals? Well, it's interesting, right? But not a lot of folks realise that we're 90% the same as a fly or a cockroach or a pigeon. That's the new science out there called genetics, I think, which is going to be real popular real soon. But what it tells us is all animals are pretty much the same from a genetical level. Oh, cool! Damn right, it's cool, babe. You know what that means, don't you? No, I haven't got a clue. It means we've all got to start caring for one another like family. Okay, so let me get this straight. Like my brother is a cockroach, and my dad is a pigeon, and my mom is a fly. Is that right? Well, sort of, genetically speaking. But you bang on, love. And you know what that also means?、Uh, no. That you could legally speaking marry any animal you wanted and have kids, unless you're married already, babe. You ain't married, are you? No, I just split up from my boyfriend. He didn't like me being on the radio. Whatever. Said I sounded stupid. Well, that's my point, love. I mean, imagine if you'd been out dating a wolf or a cute little deer. He'd protect you and stuff, urinate to keep out intruders, but he wouldn't mind you being on the radio. Wouldn't mind a bit. Why not? Wolves and deers have no concept of jealousy at someone else's success. That's the genetic variation between Homo erectus and spider monkeys: jealousy and fur and stuff. Oh. Oh, indeed, sweet thighs. Oh, indeed. Would you like Mr. Zoo to tell you something else? Yeah. Everything you learned in school is a lie, babe. A lie. Take pyrology, for instance. You were told sharks are dangerous, right? Yes. Cobblers, babe, they're frightened of you. They ain't gonna hurt you. Have you ever tried cuddling a shark, getting down and dirty with one, relaxing it a little? No. Well, I have, and I'll tell you, it's very rewarding, aim,、eh, babe. Very rewarding indeed. Really? Yeah, absolutely, love. Once you've calmed it down with a little rubbing, it's like a swimming puppy, real affectionate and stuff. Okay, I'll try that. You should, love. You really should. Let me tell you something else. Go on, go on. Well, this is something for the guys out there, really. You know, with a girl, right? You ain't got a clue. I mean, a female human when she's on heat, right, and ready to mate, looks identical to a female human when she ain't on heat, and would throw a drink over your face if you grab her behind and start trying anything intimate. You can't tell the difference. I know that only too well. But take a forker monkey from the jungles of the Philippines. When she's on heat, her behind sticks up and glows bright red, and she makes a sound a bit like this. And any fool or dingbat can tell she's ripe and ready for action. Certainly clears up any confusion. Yeah, I guess it does. Or a female black widow spider. Now they eat their mates after the deed. As they say, it's done. Ooh. Yeah, I know. That certainly puts things into perspective, doesn't it? I've never done that. No, but you can now because you're the same. Well, more or less the same. I mean, that's the funny thing about my work, about genesthetics. Oh, God! The world is so complicated. There are also lots of tiny differences between animals. You know what a species is, don't you, Aim? Yes. It's an animal which has other animals which are quite a bit like it.
A dog is a species, but a cat isn't, because there's lots of cats. However, I've discovered out there in the wilds loads of new species that regular science practiced by repressed blokes in laboratories hasn't even known about. Really? Really, I have. There's a horny pat bear, named after me, Pat, right? Exactly the same as a regular bear, only it's got a big horny growth hidden right down its groin area. you got to reach in, have a fiddle about, and then you find it completely different it is i was amazed when i found it i can imagine i was amazed when i left the hairdressers no wonder darling oh the double gutted pet tree monkey exactly like a normal tree monkey only it's called after me and if you have a rummage around inside going in the back door you discover it's got two digestive tracks Too amazing. Really profound it was. Ooh, that's gross. No aim. It's the science of Mr. Zoo. Getting down and dirty with animals. Because I love them and I hate lies. Okay. It also says here you like zoos. It's a love-hate thing, babe. That's nice. But I'm certainly an expert. I know what I'm doing and I'm not afraid to expose myself. Okay, well, I'm getting a little confused here. Why don't we take a break, and when we come back, take some phone calls, because all the buttons are really flashing all of a sudden. You're on K-Chat. <laughs> 